guys, welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor on YouTube. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about skin like foundations. So, these are the foundations that are going to make your skin look like skin. You, you ain't going to be looking casket sharp or, you know, ready for, for, for the bacon to be fried on your face. It's going to look like your skin, but better. You know, you want to know the, the rundown on this, so keep watching. So, although we have taken a deep dive into skincare on this channel, listen, skincare and makeup go hand in hand. You know, your makeup is gonna look better if you take care of your skin, and your skincare is gonna be enhanced sometimes by makeup products. So, you know, let them go hand in hand. I know some people wanna get their skin to a place where, you know, they don't have to wear makeup as often, and that's fine, but here on this channel, we like both. So, before we get into my list, let's talk about some criteria. So, what makes a foundation a skin-like foundation. So the first thing you want to look for is coverage. You want to look for a medium to full coverage foundation. Now I know some of you might have clutched your pearls, might have been, you know, had your hand on the click off button on this video when you heard me say full coverage, but full coverage foundations these days are formulated in a way where they cover well without looking heavy and crazy on the skin. Most of them, you know, you might catch a full coverage foundation out here that is extremely clockable, but for the most part, you are gonna be looking for foundations that have a medium to full coverage. Now that's because you want something that is going to be able to cover your discoloration. Okay, not all of us have discoloration, but for the most part, you know, a good chunk of us, you know, women of color, we do tend to be multi-hued and we, discoloration is an issue, but you want to look for a foundation that has a medium to full coverage. These light to medium coverage foundations, you know, there's a place for them. I'm not going to knock them. There's a place for them for certain types of looks, but if you want the most skin-like look, you gotta go with the medium to full coverage. Another set of criteria is you're gonna look for a certain type of finish. Now, this is the type of finish that you wanna look for if you're looking for that really nice, oh, my skin? Oh yes, I woke up like this <laughs> kind of look. You want to look for luminous, satin matte. Now, of course, this is going to depend on your skin type. So if you have an oily skin, you're probably going to look more for like the satin matte or the velvet matte or the soft matte. Whereas if you have dry skin, you might look, you know, more for the luminous or the dewy finish. But overall, what you don't want is a matte, matte finish because a flat, matte finish. Ciao. If you checked out my video, or if you didn't check out my video, make sure you check it out on things that can be making your, you know, makeup things that can be making your skin look old. So make sure you check that out because I kind of broke down, you know, some of the reasons why a very matte foundation can mess you up, you know, just to highlight the video, but you know, you're going to go ahead and watch that video, is that a very matte finish can be very unforgiving. Um, it can highlight fine lines, it can highlight wrinkles, it can highlight pores, it can highlight texture. It's just like, why even do it to yourself? Just go with a soft matte, satin matte, luminous, dewy. And while we are on that, another criteria. Now this is not something that you're going to be looking for in the foundation itself. It's more of like a technique criteria, but go easy on the powder. Now I know, you know, you see these videos and everybody's powdering down. They want to be as matte as possible because they have oily skin and they want the, the makeup to last all day. And you, you don't have to do all that, you know, and I can go into it here, but you know, I like to keep the video short and I like for you to watch my other videos. So make sure you check out my video on, you know, makeup things that you're doing that make your skin look old. Er. Now, you know, there's nothing wrong with being older, but you know, you don't want to be older than your time. So another criteria that is more of a technique thing is you want to make sure that your moisturizer, your moisturizer is a, a very important part of your skincare that ties into your makeup because you get that moisturizer wrong, honey, and your makeup is going to be 
<laughs> okay so you want to make sure that your moisturizer not only matches your skin type with that dry oily combo normal but you also may need it to match the season or the climate where you are um some of you may live in places where the climate is is moderate and tropical year round you know congratulations you can probably wear the same moisturizer year round but you know for those of us who live in areas where we get four seasons you know, for for me, as an example, in the summertime, I can't wear the same moisturizer I wear in the, in the winter here in New York. Like, I just can't do it. Although, sometimes in the winter in New York, there are days where it feels summer-like. But on average, I can't wear my summer foundation in the winter and vice versa. So make sure that your moisturizer matches your skin type and the season where applicable. Now, I'm getting ready to get into my list of foundations. You know, you might want to grab your note app or a piece of paper and a pen and, you know, get to taking the notes. But another criteria here for the foundations that I'm going to list is that they have to have a decent shade range. I don't care how good, like, the foundation can look like Jesus himself came and painted your skin on. If they don't have shades for the blacks, I don't want it. You don't want me. So that's another criteria here. It definitely has to have a decent shade range. So now let's get into the list. Now, as you were watching this video and you're like, wow, you know, I like that Danielle. I'm, I'm Danielle, by the way, if this is your first time on the channel. But if you're like, yo, I like that girl, subscribe. And if you're thinking you're subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. Because you could be watching and watching and watching and watching videos and not even realize that you're not subscribed to a channel. And hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos just like this. So let's get into this list. And these are in no particular order. But we're going to start off with the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. So NARS Natural Radiant a long way foundation, that's a mouthful. I wear shade Manaus, and for reference, if you wanna see what shades I wear in other foundations, I will have a blog post linked in the description box that you can check out for that information. But here are the stats on the NARS foundation. So the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation is a full coverage foundation, but it doesn't feel that way. You know, remember I just said that there are foundations that um, nowadays are formulated to really cover well but they feel and look like skin so they're very undetectable. This one also has a natural finish so that's another buzzword that you want to look for when you're looking for a skin like foundation natural finish. The formula is a liquid which I find to be amazing. I, I love a liquid. I like, I can find a reason to use any kind of foundation liquid powder or cream but liquids are pretty bomb. This one is a liquid, but it has a little bit of a creamy texture to it. It says it's for normal, dry, and combo skin, but I have oily skin, and I do find that it wears well for me in the colder months. I haven't owned it long enough to, you know, see if it's go melt <laughs> in the summer months, but it does feel like something that might be a bit too heavy for me in the summer, but as an oily skin girl, I can definitely attest to it being nice in the colder months. So next up, the Dior Forever. Now this is, the, if you thought the nose was a mouthful, this is a mouthful. This is the Dior Forever 24 hour high perfection skin caring foundation with sunscreen. So this is the matte version. There's also a glow version, which I actually reviewed and I will link it in the description box so you can check it out. I like the matte version though because I have oily skin. And I wear shade 6.5N in this foundation. And again, if you wanna see what shades I wear in other foundations, make sure you check the description box because there's a blog post on it. It's actually one of my favorites. This bottle is kaput. <laughs> there's like maybe this much foundation in there and I'm waiting for my replacement bottle to come in from the Sephora sale. But let's get into the stats on this Dior foundation. So this has medium coverage, which I would have to agree to. You can build it up. So if there's some areas where you need a little bit more coverage, you can add a little bit more foundation in those areas and it covers really well without looking cakey. It has a matte finish, but it's not casket sharp matte. Like I. I I don't know if I'm really stressing how much Casket Sharp Matte is not a good look because it's just, it's 
so hard to pull off like yeah you know you want your makeup to last but you know going completely mad isn't the only way as a matter of fact uh, make sure you check out my video on how to stay beat in the heat it's a trick on how you can use a makeup technique of layering to get your makeup to stay so that you don't need to be you know out here with the super mad okay uh, the foundation formula is liquid it says that it's for normal dry combo with oily skin because it is matte Though I think that those with a drier skin type, you know, in the colder months, you might be kind of like, I don't know about this, but it's not like casket sharp matte. But if you do have a drier skin type, you might want to look at the Glow Foundation. As I mentioned, there's a review for it linked in the description box. Next up in foundations that give you a skin like finish, the Cover FX Total Cover Cream. I wear shade N110 in this foundation. I've loved this foundation for probably, what are we in, 2010? Probably about six, seven years when Cover FX you know, reformulated and they they did a shade extension back in, I think, maybe even before 2014, maybe 2012 or 2013. You, I got to look on, back on my blog because I definitely remember doing a cover effects event um, at Sephora and, you know, they had the bomb foundations and, and the shades and everything for everybody. But let's talk about the stats with this foundation. So it's full coverage, but you can sheer it out. I love how flexible this foundation is. The formula is cream. I like a cream foundation. People tend to get scared of them because they think like, oh my god, I'm gonna be a greasy mess. Now you might be a little bit of a greasy mess with some cream foundations. You're not gonna be a greasy mess with this one. What I like about cream foundations is that you can manipulate the coverage, you can sheer it out, you can layer it to add more coverage. So it's like you get multiple foundations in one when you're dealing with a cream. This one says it has a natural finish. Again, another buzzword you want to look for when you're looking for skin-like foundations. Um, it says it's for normal dry and combo skin, but I have oily skin and like I said, I've loved this foundation for, you know, the, the time frame is, you know, still being calculated because I don't remember. It's, it's definitely more than five years at least. But I have worn this foundation in Trinidad Carnival where I was playing mass and all day and it lasted. So this is definitely something that will work for oily skin. Next up, the Uma Beauty Say What foundation. In this foundation, I wear shade T4N. So let's get into the stats on this foundation. So this one has adjustable coverage. The finish is described as a vibrant matte with a blurring effect. The formulation is liquid. I actually did a wear test on this foundation here on YouTube. I will link it above and below so you can check it out. This foundation is bomb. Like, it's, they described it very well because it is matte, but it is going to allow your skin to shine through. And it kind of gives a, it, it gives like this glow. Definitely has that blurring effect. Like, I don't even need to put my own words in here. What they said definitely corresponds to this foundation. And, you know, you can check out my weird test linked above and below. And let's move on to the next one. Next up, the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I wear shade Nutmeg. So I, that foundation actually surprised me because, you know, prior to how I got put on to it, I, I just had no interest. I was just like, eh, whatever. But I was taping a beauty segment for Dr. Oz and my makeup artist friend, Keys Rebel. She's doing my makeup and she used this on me. And when I tell you, I was like, Girl, I might need to get that foundation. So the thing with this, uh, we'll get into the stats, you know, really quickly, but they, this does have strong fragrance in it. Now, fragrance is very subjective. I typically do not like fragrance in a lot of my, you know, any products that I'm putting on my face. This one, I gave a pass because the fragrance doesn't linger on and it didn't have any effect on my skin, like it didn't break me out. I kind of gave it a pass because the finish is so pretty. As a matter of fact, this is the foundation that I'm wearing today. But let's get into the stats. So this is a full coverage foundation, but again, it's super lightweight. 
lightweight. It feels like nothing on and it covers really well. It has a natural finish, but it looks more like a satin matte. Like it's just like such a like mwah, beautiful finish. The formulation, it is a liquid, but it's a creamy liquid. So you can kind of like shear it out if you wanted to or layer to get more coverage in areas where you may need more coverage. And it says that it's for combo and oily skin. Now I do think if you have a drier skin type, maybe you might be able to get away with this in the summer months. It just has such a beautiful finish to it. And I do hope that, you know, when as Huda makes additional products, they like, yo girl, chill on the fragrance. Like chill out, it's all right. So next up, the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. I wear shade Tanzania. Um, but when I first got this foundation, I had just come from Mexico and I might had a tan and I was very red in undertone. And at that time, my shade match was Kenya. This foundation, I have to say, when did it, it, it launched, was that 2019 or 2018? I don't remember, because 2020 has been here for like 15 years, so I, I don't even really remember. But whenever this foundation came out, it was the year where there were a lot of foundation launches, and this was, to me, one of the best launches that year. So it's only 20 bucks and let's get into the stats. So it's a full coverage foundation and when I say a little goes a long way, a little goes a long, long way. You can shear this out so you get less coverage or you can kind of just use it in its concentrated, uh, it's more concentrated form if you need a little bit more coverage. It's um, very affordable. I believe it's like 20 bucks for this foundation, which, you know, you gotta love. You gotta love a good foundation that's easy on the coins and the pockets. Um, it's for all skin types and it's going to give you a velvet matte finish. So I really love this foundation. Only My only gripe with this foundation is that the packaging makes it a little bit hard to see what the shade is. Not that we can go in stores right now anyway and sit there and pick out our foundation matches. And I don't even think we'll be able to do much of that um, when outside opens back up anyway. But it, you know, the packaging does make it a little bit difficult to find your shade. I did do a full review on this um, on here on YouTube, so I'll link it above and below so you can hear more about you know, some pluses and minuses about the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. But it's mostly pluses for me because it's just, you know, it's just bomb. So, it's bomb. Now, I did wanna give an honorable mention because there is a very nice skin-like foundation that I tried last year, or maybe 2018, I don't know. <laughs> I tried it, there's a video up here, you can find the timestamp, but I will link it above and below. Uh, but the ABH Luminous Foundation. Now, the reason why this is an honorable mention and not like a on the list list kind of foundation is because although it's amazing, like the shade range, once you get to the deeper end, is a little confusing and hard. I, I couldn't find a good match for my deep skin with neutral undertones. Um, they sent me a bunch of shades, and even from the bunch of shades that they sent me, it was just like, yeah, this is, I, I picked what was the closest match, and you can check that out in the video. But let me give you some quick stats on it. So it's a medium coverage foundation. Um, it has a natural finish, liquid formula. It says it's for normal, dry, combo, and oily skin. The only thing is, it, it has a beautiful finish, and it has it's a great wearing foundation. It performs very well. But the catch is if you can find your shade. I did find that there weren't a lot of neutral undertone options on the deeper end, so that's why it is a, you know, it's more of an honorable mention than on the list list. So now it's your turn to do the talking. Let me know in the comments, what are your favorite skin-like foundations? Have you tried any that are on my list? Have you tried some that are not on my list that you're like, the world needs to know about this? Let me leave this in the comments right now because everybody need to know. <laughs> leave it in the comments. Follow me on social, the links will be in the description box. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because like I said, you could be you could have you could have been watching this channel all year because I come up in your um, suggested and then not realize that you actually weren't subscribed. So just you know make sure you subscribe to a girl's channel. You know, that'd be nice and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos show up on this channel. And I'll see you fine folks in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>